Hello and welcome to Lenses and Naps. I'm Andrew Tinker and this is Jacques Graveline. How's it going today, Jacques? I'm good, how are you doing? I'm doing wonderful today. Jacques is the host of uh, Lenses and Naps and I'm going to do some questions to him, introduce him a little bit to you guys so you guys can understand his love for music and his passion and why he wants to interview musicians. So Jacques, what started you off in music? I've always liked music. Uh... Since I was a kid, I guess I grew up in a musical kind of family. Uh, my grandmother was Irish and my grandfather was Native, and they owned a bar. And from a very young age, um, it was that was it. Like, I didn't have a bedtime. I just sat at the table while everybody played music. So it was. And then my parents had a lot of records and they listened to a lot of music. And, uh, so it was just always there that in that sense. And um, as I got older, as a teenager, I learned how to play um, music instruments. And, um, and that furthered into um, songwriting and, uh, and joining the hands and playing stages. Yeah, so, music has just always been a constant in my, in my life since I was a kid. So, Jacques, what bands did you play in? I started playing in bands when I was in high school, when I was around 17. We were just a bunch of shithead kids that didn't have much to do, and then we decided to waste our time by learning how to play like bass and guitar and drums and yelling into microphones and learning how to play Metallica songs and System of a Down songs and Rage Against Machine songs and you know Nirvana songs. Uh, so that was like the high school time uh, where, and also too I, I went to Fenland Falls High School um, halfway through when I started playing around that age and everybody played. There's all these people from small towns, and I guess maybe there's not much to do, so they end up learning how to play an instrument. And so whenever we'd have a house party in a different town, whether it was like in Fallon Falls or Cobacon or Bob Cajun, and, and around all these other areas, um, you know, county roads and backyards and stuff like that, there'd be like nine bands, like everybody played, and it would just be a big jam. So that was like a cultural thing I, I really liked growing up in this area. So we had a band there, and we were part of that. And then my first professional recording uh, gig was with a band called Tear Peace. I was about 21. Um, and we went into you know songwriting and and you know studios in Toronto and and pushed that very political rock um, for the time. You know, it was early 2000s and you know, a lot of shit had happened for our time. And, <laughs> and so that was that one project and. As I was trying to push more of that music, I got in touch online with a, a guy, Pete Rallinger, so, uh, and then uh, who lived in Peterborough, and so I ended up moving to Peterborough, and we, we started jamming a lot and came up with some projects, uh, a band called Levon. Uh, Levon uh, was just the after Tear of Peace project happened, we were uh, looking for a drummer to two, some of us, and so it was kind of like a really fun time. Of, People would come over after and, and hang out and listen to records with us. And it, was, it, it was a lot of fun. Is Levon on pause right now? Or are you guys oh, doing, yeah. planning on doing anything <laughs> yeah. with it now? It's, but there's still the Black Knight Satellite stuff, which is... Um, <laughs> Is there anything that you do outside of your bands? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, right now, what's going on? My I have a weekly uh, matinee gig at Pappas Billiards in town here, you know, between one and three o'clock, which is oh, nice. where I play for a couple hours. Um, it's a six-dollar burger and fry deals, and people shoot pool, and I play classic rock music. Cold know? beer, cold burgers, beer. Yeah, one o'clock. Cool. Yeah, everything you want to do on a Saturday uh, is. On Thursdays, I'm at Dreams and Beans, but I don't play much on Dreams and Beans. It's an open mic, so the open mic really allows other people to come out and play. And the one thing I've got out of this open mic at Dreams and Beans is that a lot of people say it's a nice room to play in and sing in, and that a lot of people, for their first time, feel comfortable there to play there and to break the ice, which to me, I, I take a lot of pride in that, that they're feeling comfortable to either write poetry and, and deliver it there, or come up and do stand-up comedy, uh, or to play acoustic and, and duets and play piano. 
and so forth. And the thing too about Dreams and Beans, very cultural place, is that they always display art every two weeks as well on the on the wall. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice atmosphere, you know, where you can have a coffee, you don't have to, and you can have something to eat, and you can have a beer, you can have a cocktail. You know, it's kind of encompassing everything in a nice evening. Yeah. And, it's not too loud, it's mellow. So not only are you supporting your musicians, you're also supporting your artists over there. Everybody, yeah, yeah. I like that. Oh, okay. Can you tell us about a little bit of love on your... On my gear? On your gear. Yeah, my, my amp is... I love my amp, it's a Fender Hot Rod um, amp, and I bought it at Ed's music shop. I, I don't even use pedals because I just crank the overdrive on it, and, and all the settings go up to 12. Just one higher than 11. Is 12. And you can really get a really good crunchy sound out of this and it's a tube amp and when it gets warmed up and I get um, um, you know a check up every once in a while from Tribute um, and so the locals yeah, it's, it's always um, been my favorite amp that I've ever had. I've had some other solid state amps but um, nope that Fender Hot Rod amp is the amp for me. Yeah. And my guitar is, I've had, you know, i played some Fenders and depending on what song I'm, what I'm working on, whether it's a Stratocaster or a Telecaster, um, some Ibanez's, uh, but I really like my Gretsch, you know, my Gretsch uh, guitar is what I will probably always want to go to. And if I could get any guitar, um, I would get probably the Gretsch White Falcon, like that would be where I would, you know, that would be a good one to have. Through going through my Fender, Fender Hot Rod drive through the crank time. Well, that is it for today, folks. And thank you very much for watching the second episode. Hope you enjoyed the questions I asked Shock. Be sure to check out his Facebook page, his Instagram, his Twitter for details on upcoming shows from Black Knight Satellite, in the Vaughn, who knows where he could be playing, or one of his single gigs. Uh, check him out. Thursday nights, open mic night, bring some talent, bring a guitar, ukulele, microphone, pen and paper, doesn't matter. Um, also check them out for Shipwreck Saturdays from 1 to 3 p.m. Uh, that's pretty much it for today, for folks. Thanks again for tuning in to Lenses and Amps. Until next time, cheers.